All right, we have good question. X plus 3, power 6 is equal to 2 power 6. And in this question, we are supposed to find 6 values of X. Solution. To mean, we have to copy what we have. We have given X plus 3. Power 6 is equal to 2 power 6. And of course, we have to write x plus 3 power 6, then minus 2 power 6 is equals to a 0. Okay, then we shall say x plus 3, okay, then power 3 power 2 again because when you have power we multiply them to mean that 3 power 2 is equal to 3 uh, x plus 3 power 3 then power 2 is equal to power 6 minus 2 power 3 then power 2 which equals to a 0 this is the simplest way to find this equation you have given and transform them into difference of two squares this is easy method okay at this stage this seems as difference of two squares where this can be x plus 3 power 3 then plus 2 power 3 then times x plus 3 power 3 minus 2 power 3 okay then here which is equal to a zero <clears throat> if you are seeing nice three let us say that this is a cubic plus b cubic times this one as a a cubic minus b cubic which is equal to a zero let us start by this one. We say a power 3 plus b power 3 is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So we shall start from here to say x plus 3 power 3, okay? Then plus 2 power 3 is equal to what? Remember that this is seems as a to mean x plus 3, then plus b, which is equal to 2. Okay? Then times a squared can be written as x plus 3 squared, then plus 2 uh, minus. Here, a, b, we have b, which is equal to 2, and a, which is equal to x plus 3, then plus b squared, which is equal to 2 squared, is equal to 4. Okay? This one only, we shall say x plus 5 times x plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 2 times x is equal to 2x minus 6 plus 4 okay and this is equal to x plus 5 x squared okay and right here I shall say plus 4 x okay and right here we have negative 2 plus 9 which is equal to plus 7 okay and this is the first one and we can find the value of x from here okay and we have to equalize to a 0 because each equation have to equalize to 0 so we can start by saying that here x plus 5 is equal to 0 
or x squared plus 4x plus 7 is equals to a 0. x is equal to negative 5 or here x squared plus 4x plus 7 is equal to a 0. Well as here our a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 7. By using formula method this is x1 x2 and 3 will be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4a c over 2a so that x2 and 3 will be negative 4 plus or minus square root of b squared can be 16 minus 4 times 1 times 7 over 2 then x2 and 3 will be negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 28 over 2 x2 and 3 will be negative 4 plus or minus square root of negative 12 over so x2 and 3 will be negative 4 plus 2i square root of 3 over 2. At this stage we can find x2 only which is equal to by simplifying chasse negative 2 plus i square root of 3. Well, as x3 will be negative 2 minus i square root of 3. This is for case 2. Okay. Here, when you say m power 3 minus b power 3, that is a minus b, okay, times a squared plus ab plus b squared okay so that by applying right here a is equal to x plus 3 then minus b which is equal to 2 times x plus 3 squared plus 2 times x plus 3 then plus Okay, because this b squared which is equal to 4. This is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 2x plus 6 plus 4. Okay, so that here x will be x plus 1 times x squared this and this will be plus 8 x 10 plus 9 equal to 19 and always have to rise to 0 to mean that x plus 1 times x squared plus 8x plus 19 will be a zero at this stage x is equal to negative one as x four okay well as or x squared plus eight x plus nineteen is equal to zero okay now our a here is equal to one b is equal to eight and c is equal to 19 then x5 and 6 will be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4a c over 2a and here x 
5 and 6 will be negative b plus or minus square root of, sorry, we have 8, so we shall say negative 8 plus or minus here, 64 minus 4 times 1 times 19, okay, over 2. Then x5 and 6 is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 64, okay? Then here minus 6376 over 2. x5 and 6 will be negative 8 plus or minus the square root of here this is equal to negative 12 over 2. And then here, x5 and 6 will be negative 8 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. Then over 2. We shall say at final stage here, x5 is equal to negative 4 plus or minus here, it is plus i square root of 3 as x5 well as x6 is equal to negative 4 minus i square root of 3. Then, thanks for watching. Don't forget, share and subscribe.